What's up, everyone? My name is Zach, and as always, this is Fuzz Drones. What I like to do on this channel is test out some of the heaviest sounding devices that are on the market, do a demo for it, and then release that demo to you. So if you are a fan of doom metal, drone, post-rock, post-hardcore, any styles of music like that, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. And, and you know what? Hit that like button on this video because I do want to see this channel grow into something bigger. Now this is video number three of this series and I think this is gonna be it for a little bit. I'm gonna take a little break from this series. But the whole purpose of this is I wanted to shed some light on smaller builders that are doing some awesome things right now that you may not have heard about. And you know what? I feel smaller builders should get as much recognition as the larger companies are nowadays. So now let's dive right into this video and start it off right. The first pedal we are going to be checking out is the Stuka Fuzz from Kaiser Tronics. Now this is based around a modified silicon fuzz face that has some pretty unique transistors inside. Now this could go anywhere from a spitting sounding type of fuzz pedal all the way to a smooth sounding fuzz just by adjusting a little bit on your guitar's volume knob. Now with the Stuka, you have some internal trim pots that are going to allow you to change up the bias control along with one that's going to let you set the input load. Now the craftsmanship on this is just immaculate. This is as boutique as you are going to get. Uh, down to the custom relic enclosure, and I am going to pop open the back just to post up a gut shot, just to show you how immaculate their work is. Now with all that being said, we are going to take a couple of minutes and check out the Stuka and hear how it sounds. Next up on the list, we are going to be checking out the Dunch from Champion Legacy. 
Now the Dunch is just going to give you a little bit of everything. This is a very, very high gain, loud distortion style of pedal. It has a very flexible EQ. And did I mention it has plenty of volume on tap? Now, if you're a fan of those choked out, sputtering, gated fuzz tones, this thing could do it. If you're a fan of those big wall of fuzz distortion style of tones, this thing could do it. Two things I really enjoy about this pedal is one, it always keeps you guessing. Uh, guessing. You turn the knob one way and you're like, I think it's going to react this way. And it completely does something the total opposite. And you're like, you know what? That's pretty friggin' cool. Just because I, I like pedals that keep you on your toes. And this definitely will keep you on your toes. And then the other thing I like is how it doesn't care what amp it's in front of. I know with some fuzz distortion pedals, it's always best to run them through clean amps. Um, and they just sound the best. And then you put it in front of a dirty amp and it just reacts poorly. Like you lose your clarity and everything with it. This thing basically is just looks at the amp that you, that it's in front of. And it's like, you know what? I'm going to make you my bitch. And we're going to make some of the gnarliest sounding tones that you're going to hear. So now with all that being said, let's check out some tones from the Dunch. <laughs> Thank 
last up on the list, we will be checking out the deforming from Holy Island Audio. Now, the deforming is a delayed bass pedal that actually has a envelope controlled warp control, just giving you those trippy, demented guitar tones. Now, I do have to say, this pedal right here, I've had it for about three months now, and this has been used on every in the mix um, for past demos since having it. It's a very simplistic delay, which I love. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with delays. I have a wide variety of delays in my collection, and I don't use a lot of them just because they're too complicated for me. For the longest time, the only delay I used was the DD3 just because it was straight to the point, and I just love straight to the point. Even though this has five controls on it, it's straight to the point. It sounds great. But like I said, the whole warped feature on this is just really, really cool. And you're going to see that in the pedal section coming up in a few seconds. Now, this features a input preamp, which if it's driven really, really hard, it's going to saturate the unit and it's going to sort of emulate the preamp of those old tape machines. So now what we're going to do, we are going to check out some of my favorite settings of the deforming. The reason why I'm doing it this way is just because it's hard to do a time base effect with just having a preloaded riff already and turning the knobs just because you have to get the timing down. So what me and John did was we sat down, we played around with this, and we're going to give you two of our favorite settings that the deforming uh, can give you.
So that is the video. I hope everybody enjoyed it, and I hope it shed some light on two, three companies that you might have not known about. I want to give a big thanks to Holy Island Audio for sending the deforming out, uh, Kaiser Tronics for sending the Suka, and Champion Lexi for sending out the Dunch. I really enjoyed each and every one of these pedals, and I definitely will be using them on the channel in the future. So to all of you watching, I will have uh, links in the description below for each one of these pedals right here. So if you want to grab one of these, I'm sure the companies would really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future demos. But until the next one, my name is Zach, and this is...